What's up ladies and gentlemen, Chase Corrington CLC Paint here and in this video I'm going to show you how to package your paintings when it's time to ship. I just sold this painting right here and also sold this painting, little guy. And when I first started doing this, something that was difficult for me to figure out was how do I package and ship my paintings. It was so confusing. I'm like, how do you find the right size box? What do you do? So in this video, we're going to dive right into that right now. All right. So I'm going to start with the small painting here. This one's an eight by 10. It's um, 10 inches long, eight inches high, or height and width, eight inches height, 10 inches width. But there's a few things you need. You'll need a really big flat surface. So this table might even be too small. So I like to use the floor. But And then the tape takes money to make money. So you got to buy this stuff or have somebody gift it to you. But first of all, I like to use this heavy duty shipping tape. Extra thick though. So the, the type of stuff that does not break easy. Now... Um, then you'll want, this is a bubble mailer, but before I put anything in a bubble mailer, I pre-bubble wrap it and gift wrap it. And usually I'll add a personal note. Actually, every time I've added a personal note. So we'll start out with our little painting. All right, so I wrote out a little personal note there on a piece of paper. I like to do it on the back of a business card. Um, so you can have your business contact stuff on the front of the business card. It seems somewhat professional. I only say somewhat because people will say have two-sided business cards. But I like to have a one-sided business card so you can do this on the back of your business card. Currently, I have my business card shipping. I ran out of them before I ordered more because I wanted to redesign them. So the first step that we'll do in packaging this painting for shipping is gift wrapping it. Alrighty. So I just take a piece of this. And this is, um, this is just your common gift wrap. And I just take a piece, lay it over the top like so. I try to get it tight. So make sure when you're doing this, you pull it tight like that. You can put a little piece of tape, but I don't like to put tape all over the canvas area here. So I just pull that tightly. And then we'll flip it over. Keep that looks like so. And I'm going to fold... And I try to do this to where it folds evenly so it looks nice. You want it to look nice for your customer. And if this is your painting and you happen to be watching this video, then hopefully this is nice for you. Leave me a review, let me know. Or leave something in the comments below and let me know if I could do better. If somebody watching has a better idea, that's always open to growth here. So this just kind of gives an extra layer of protection from scratching and stuff. So then we take our bubble wrap, right? And so this is what this looks like on the bottom. Fold it in. And I'm going to place this right at the edge of the bubble wrap. Pull it closer to me. Pull the bubble wrap out. Grab the bubble wrap at the tip of the painting. And then pull it tight against this part here. So bring it towards you as you flip it. So that way it's a nice even. Then we'll do one more. Try to keep one hand down here. So that way it stays nice and even. Oh, let's get rid of the scissors. Here's some scissors. Set our note. Ah, see, important. Almost forgot to put the note in there. And one more thing I wanted to mention about the note here is 
make it very sincere. Um, make it like a note you would send to somebody important. Like, I don't ever put the same thing on here. It may come out similar, but it's always genuine. Because sometimes paintings are very um, particular in the one that's purchased. And sometimes the person who's doing the purchasing doesn't know how particular it is or the story behind it. So I like to put this down here in the gift wrap, just like that. And we'll pull that tight, pull this tight, pull everything tight again, as tight as you can get it. Push down with your fingers in there, flip it over, and boom. We'll just call that perfect. And you can, you know, perfect is in the eye of the beholder. Now that you've got your personal note in there, your gift wrap, and your bubble wrap going on. I come down the side here. Right along, being careful. Always keep your hands away from where the cutting is happening. And once again, perfect is in the eye of the beholder, so if you don't like it, you can always redo it. But I think that looks just fine. And you can straighten it out a little bit. Now, now, if you don't want all this excess bubble wrap to add to the size and weight of your package, then you can just cut it off and tape at the ends there. But I personally want to find out. And I like to show the customers, you know, that I put a little extra, put a little extra into the safety of their painting. So once you got it like that, all we did there was folded one side in. Doesn't matter which side. Watch, we can do this one. And then this one. Maybe we'll do it like that. Just keep in mind, you'll have somewhere to tape down. So then we come back to our handy dandy heavy duty. You can hear how heavy duty that is. Put some on the knee just in case. And so then I'm going to put that down just like that, top of the flap. Pretty much. Take another strip of tape. And we'll just do this side. See a little styrofoam got on there? So we're just going to throw that tape away. If you're trying to save money and you can't afford to buy a couple extra tapes, then by all means use that last piece. But I'm just trying to get it to look as good as possible for my customers. Customer first. So then I just kind of fold it over. And see this here, you can seal that if you want, but it's wrapped, double wrapped in there because of we folded it over. So it's really up to you how intense you want to be in this process. The idea and the confidence to somebody who didn't know, didn't, uh, needed the reassurance to do this part. I'm just going to pull that over there, like that, and pull this side all together. And maybe I just want to seal this up. So I'll fold it over, so then we fold that, connect the tape there, 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 fold it over, and boom. See, now that's a sealed corner. No worries. And to make it uniform, I'm going to seal this corner. 
Now that that's all taped up, I mean, you could do this side if you wanted to, but let's see how it fits now, shall we? So this being an 8x10 painting, I needed 10 and a half at the least. You almost add an inch or two, and we'll see how this fits. It's a bit tight. It's a bit tight, but that's all in the name of that extra cushion. So you give them a safe painting. A lot of cushion. So I want to put it right side up. Well, almost got the seal there. So I'm going to, this is the bottom of the painting. This is the top. So let's just put the bottom on the bottom, just like that, and we'll take this guy, remove, and seal it when we're ready to ship. And then on here, this is your information, this is their information. So you put your name, your address, your city, state, and zip code. And then same thing for them. All right. So I'll do this part again in a future video. But for this bigger painting here, I went on Amazon and ordered these boxes. They're 16 by 20 mailers. And I think they might actually be 16 and a half by 20 and a half by one inch or one and a half inch but so I went on Amazon found myself some 16 the right size mailers and I didn't really know they were the right size until I got them and tested them but these guys you can fit your 16 by 20 canvases or whatever size that you prefer to do in the mailer after doing after doing your gift wrap, so just like the previous painting we did, you gift wrap it with this, right, all the way around. This takes a couple pieces because the painting's bigger. And then you'll bubble wrap it all the way around. Tape that, put your personal note inside of the gift wrap underneath the bubble wrap. Make sure that's sealed. And you want to be able to bubble wrap these in a way to where it's not super thick. So that way when you put it in here, even though it's a tight fit, you can flip these down and it'll usually bounce it a little bit because it's bubble wrapped and the bubble squishy. And then that one on there and you can tape that. Or if you want to save on tape, you can flip it right over. Tape down your edge, tape these down, and then seal this part with tape if you want to. So, and then that gives you a nice, easy mailer. You can tape this side, this side, right here, and that gives you a nice, easy mailer. And then you follow the same process of putting your information in the top corner, their information in the center, and take her down to the post office, pay the shipping. I usually go to my local post office, but so I hope that helps anybody who was confused, who didn't know how to ship their paintings, because I certainly didn't know how to ship them at first, and I hope that helped if you got value smash the like button or gently tap it. If you double tap it, it will like and then unlike. So make sure you leave the thumbs up. Um, if you got value, consider subscribing. I'll be back in the future with landscape painting tutorials, tips, techniques, uh, tips about how to deal with this kind of stuff, shipping your paintings. Be sure to share this video with somebody who could use this information. And until the future,